What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And bam, everybody, it was Kung Fu fighting. Da -da 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 -da. Look at this guy. This is pretty cool. This was sent to me from one of my subscribers. Uh, I can't I can't even pronounce his name. Jarslaw Mazro. He's uh, from one of the foreign countries. I think that's how you say his name. Awesome thing. He says, I found some creatures in here. And anytime, I kind of get skeptical. I shouldn't, right off the top of my head, when someone says they found like a creature walking through here. Because I have such a hard time seeing them. But he says he saw a bunch of them in this one. And then I pulled this up and I was like, man, this actually looks like... Uh, Here's the actual color from NASA there. Like a, a little guy in a mask or something that has a little suit on. He's got his uh, arm up like he's ready to strike. He's got the one out like this. Like he's going to hit something. He's got his legs cocked perfectly. It looks like he's in a cloak or like a, uh, some, not a cloak, a, uh, oh, I guess a cloak, like a protective suit or something like that. And of course, this is just most likely a rock, but it's definitely some pretty cool little rock out there, even if it's not. Or, I don't know, he says, so many people, uh, like I said, I've got so many different subscribers that come here, and everybody has the, their own, you know, view on what they think happened on Mars, and that's when you auto-color right there. Um, but this picture also has a lot of other cool little stuff in there that, uh, to me, screams, all right, there was life on Mars. We can't, <laughs> we, it, we're past the point of just, you know, speculation now. If you go, oh, I've got, this is like my 300-something video, um, you know, with Moon, Mars, all sorts of stuff on it. And there's so much color in this one. Wait till you see this rock. So look at some of these out here with the symmetry. Um, this is as, about as cool as it gets. It's perfect. It's like it comes down that way. It's almost like a triangle, but it doesn't keep on going up here. It's cut at the top. But the uh, angles are the exact same. And then look, you're cut down the middle, cut across, and it looks like there's four little windows. Either way, if it's, you know... It looks like there's uh, four patterns right there. If they're not little windows, and it's probably not that far off in the distance. But uh, look at some of this stuff. Okay, right next to uh, here, here's another little guy right here. This got pretty cool. Like, here's would be the head in some sort of crazy mask, right? He's got his arm out here, his legs go down here, and he's carrying something. He's walking this way up the hill. See, that's <laughs> just this is the first time I've actually done it with the little people, and I said, you know. If this is just the rocks and you can actually see it like this, I'm sure when you really look at this, this is a rock behind it. But, uh, you know, nature seeing it in your eyes does. But that doesn't explain why stuff like this is here. I mean, what in the world is this going on right here? This looks like a bunch of uh, broken down garbage from something. Let's check this out right here. This looks like the, the head of something, like a little uh, robot or like a you know, a little sculpture or something. It actually looks like one of those little uh, sculptures that you'd find... Uh, on the one video, the guy has got the real cool voice, and he's talking about the antiquities they found. Um, a lot of people say that that stuff was fake, and they were like the Ica stones or whatever here on Earth. Let's go ahead and do this with the uh, with something. Let's just hit this with exposure. Let's try to pull up the gamma, pull something out of here, see what see what we can do. Mm, that's not going to work much for me here. See this little guy? We're looking at two holes right there. I'm thinking that looks like a little eye. It almost looks like a little E.T. head. Let me see. For those of you who actually have seen E.T., the uh, who are old enough, I'm, 12, I'm 33. I don't think the young bucks have seen E.T. Let's see. It's hard to pull that one out. Gosh, this stuff. It's look, look what happened. Look what happened when you drop the brightness on that. Look how look how bright this stuff is. And you can start seeing the cross hatches in it right here. See this piece right here? It almost looks like a uh, like some, some sort of a uh, brace for something it's got it comes up it looks like it's metal see the, the change the color it's break it's like bracketed that way it goes up here one two three cross here just kind of interesting just how it's sitting there and then you've got this little piece right here let me go ahead and i'll uh i want to have some auto on here first time i ever hit auto would it lock up my thing hmm I think it brought it back to where it was. Not much change there at all. Let me go ahead and step backwards on that. And then we'll do it one more time with the key. Yeah, I guess it did a little something. All right, image. Let's see what we can do here for this little thing. See this right here? This kind of has, let me, get, let me get the little cross things off. Let me pull it in a little bit. 
See how this looks like it's got a tail and it's coming up right there? Now, that could be a rock, but honestly, look at the colors in it. Look at the, uh, and I know a lot of this gets added by just the, the degradation of these pictures. I cannot believe that this $2, million, $2 billion thing is sending back these crappy pictures now. Um, I, I, it just boggles my mind. And as you come over here, there's some really interesting anomalies in this picture. You know what I didn't do? I didn't show you guys where it is. Here's the picture right here. That is going to be below in the description. You just click it, open up description, hit show more. I'll have a little bit of talking in it, and then it'll be this picture linked. All I got to do is click on it. It takes you right here. All right, then you get the picture. And all I've done is pull it up in Photoshop. I haven't done anything to it except for uh, change the, you know, the auto color. Let's see here. Edit, step backwards. Let's see what the heck have I done. There we are. That's how it comes from there. And I'll show you it real fast just so you can get your eyes. See it? Same thing. I haven't done anything. So let's take a look at some of these anomalies. In the color it comes in. So you can see the colors. You see how it's got the blues and the reds and the greens? It almost looks like they're, uh, this stuff was painted at one time. And it just looks like uh, statues and stuff that just been broken up into pieces and just tossed about. This is kind of cool. This looked like a little guy. Uh, well, this one up here I thought was neat. First off, because they're really, uh, you know, either the wind and the sand have really, like, flattened this thing out real good. See how it's got this main, like, bubble to it? And then around it almost has, it's almost like a beveled handle or something. Um, and up here it goes up. It looks like you could hold this thing like this, or it almost looks like it could be some sort of uh, thing, just looking out that way, like a little, either a little statue or something. This thing I thought looked like a little, here, let me turn it to the side a little bit if I can. How do I do that on here? There we go. Like, this guy looks like a little sleeping Martian. This is a little rock, I'm sure, but see how it's got two eyes, and he's got his head down, just all... But anyway, when I start getting into the real abstract stuff, people start losing me, I think. Some of y'all do. Not all of them. I think like I said, this one was pretty cool. I thought the, uh, just in general, looking through it, the uh, the lines and stuff and some of this, the, uh, like here, see these lines in this rock right here? They just look interesting to me. They look out of place. They look like they were designed at some point and then just thrashed. And like I said, you might not see it. Um, like I said, all of them definitely don't look like that, but it looks like stuff that's just been kind of buried down. See this right here? Look, look what we've got here. We've got these, this rock right here has got a bevel on it. See at the bottom of it? Almost looks like a turtle shell. If you've seen a turtle shell, that's cool. You got that little uh, Jesus fish there, if you know what I'm talking about. That uh, people always have it on the back of their car. It uh, represents, I guess, the sun. There's looks like a, okay, let's go up to the top of here too, because there's a couple more up here at the top that I want to show you. See how all this stuff looks like it's it it. You, I start thinking, okay, that's just a rock. It's got some scratches or something on it. But then I look at it, and it looks like that would have been a big old smiley face or something. But, you know, that's just my eyes probably doing that. Check this out, though. Look at this symmetry and something like this. It almost looks like it was ornate at some time or at one time in the past. That that whatever would have rocked this up and, and broken this up to, for it to put these perfect shapes and stuff into it just boggles my mind. I, I don't see it happening but then again you know mother nature is amazing here on earth so it's created some amazing things like i'm in the united states of america so I, i've you know I've been out there arizona i've been all over more here what seems to be a perfect curve and it comes up almost looks like half a bowl or something here it looks like that's got a uh this looks like one of like a half of a, a long gated head that's out of one of our uh, old you know our old ancient societies here on earth this was kind of interesting, that little fold-up piece right there, whatever that is. Looks like it's been folded over. But up here at the top, here we go. We so I took a look at this one with all the colors on it. And when you, well, let me show you when I do the auto color, you'll see it even better. See the colors in that thing? But what's really interesting is these two right here. And I say that because this one's kind of got a little symmetry going to it. But this one right here, it looks like it was chopped off with Photoshop. Or something. Look at that. And even up here, it's got like some. It looks like somebody used a little blur tool or something to try and blend in the fact of what they did. Um, but how does it come up? Let's see what we can't play with this and see what we can get out of it. All right. See how this? And it looks blurry. It looks really blurry for you know the medium distance it is. All right. Let's see here. 
like every other picture coming back from there, man. I swear it's just been everybody I talked to has been so upset about it lately. Like I said, we're not I'm fairly not complaining. They've definitely had some amazing pictures come back, but every as we get closer to the good stuff that I think is over there, we get worse and worse. You know, it gets more blurry and I'm just trying to pull out some of that. See there's a there's imprints in there. There's almost a carving in there. It's just so hard to see with as dark it is, but doesn't that, I don't know to you, see how in the back there, it looks like, I don't understand how that turns blue that little bit right there. And then it's just both, it's all both just cut off there at the top. And if these are supposedly raw images, uh, which is bullshit, because anybody know they say raw images when you go to the website and get them, but raw images don't come in a JPEG format from a, uh, from a camera. We all know that. Anybody who does f photography knows that. They come in huge raw, you know, image files. Um, and they're gorgeous. The, the resolution on them are absolutely amazing. So the further, the more and more I look at this, it you know it drives me nuts. Every time I go there to see where it says raw images, I'm like, oh, they are not raw images. They are being picked through. They are being looked at, and they're uh, then being uploaded. Um, but either way, I'm sure you guys, see, uh, like I said, I, I, you know how I do it here. I see what I see. You see what you see. You guys might not see anything about what I saw, but let me do this real fast. Let's see if we can't. Just take a little gander here and mess around with this whole spot up here because there look to be a lot of interesting little things up here. You know, it's that whole piece, but we go image, auto color. Ooh, that actually popped it out pretty good. Now let's go take another look. And that one to me is really interesting right here. How it's got this right here. Like I said, looks like four little windows in it. It's, I'm sure they're not windows, but then again, if there are little people that are about this big, I'm sorry if I'm making you guys sick, I'm just throwing this thing around. If there are little, uh, you know, Martian guys that are that big, like this guy was frozen in time or something like that, a little, little guy. Um, and I go over here, I keep seeing more and more, like this stuff just looks buried. Look, tell me this doesn't look like a stick going into this, and then it's got a round thing around it. Just looks like it was worked, like it had a purpose at one time. Even, uh, I didn't notice this one before. So it just has these two perfect circles on it and uh, another one right there and then a, a design right there. Looks like it was definitely for something. I mean, for two perfect circles to come out of there like that, it's pretty interesting. And they look like they're knobbed up on there, like, you know, on your radio you turn a knob or something. The thing, maybe this was a statue, maybe this was a garden gnome, you know, who knows. But more and more of what I think are just, this. these three are you know, are really look like they kind of go together because they're all smoothed out. And then again, you've got this right here. This one seems to be flattened out by something. And here's a good way to show it. Let me see if I get this tool. See that? <laughs> I mean, that lines up that edge perfectly with it. It looks like it was cut off again and just stuff was blurred in. And you notice that this right here doesn't have this awkward greens in it like it was actually paste it in there. See how that pixelation goes away right over top of it? So is this living stuff? Maybe this is living stuff and then when they change it and add the color to it or something. And like I said, I know they're adding stuff to it because they're not these aren't raw files. They're not coming off of the camera like this. They come in a much bigger file. Look at the symmetry in this thing. This looks like another little statue. And look at the you can even see the uh, shadows under it. And the shadow, this is a pretty big piece right here. And this shadow, you know, they're not that big. The sun's pretty high in the sky, it looks like. But but this all looks like it would, had been messed with, like they messed with the blur tool up here. See, I took it all the way up to here. And see how it changes right there? Again, like it's been played with. And right here looks behind it like there was something that would have been pretty neat. Now, like I said, we've got to take this stuff. It's also off pretty far off in the distance. But you see these... Uh, once again, like I say everywhere else, these tubes, these S figures that kind of just wind themselves away around the rocks and stuff like that, or whatever this is, that they're all over this area of Mars. Uh, we found them everywhere we go. And I don't just think it's, you know, pixelation in the picture. But once again, this is standing straight up. It almost looks like another little uh, another little statue like the one down there, a the little garden gnome or whatever. Say this little guy would be his head right there, and then this would, I guess, be his body and his feet, but... This is some more symmetric stuff. And as I scroll across, I hope you're not getting sick. Let's just go ahead and finish it on over the way over. And it just all just looks blurred to me. Not much you can do about it. I mean, the blur is here to stay, it looks like, unfortunately. Let me see if we can do one other thing over here, because I did like the way this turned out. 
Ooh, this looks like a perfect little cube out there too. Let's hit that as well. Image, auto color, there we are. See that? That looks like a little rounded off cube or something out there. The more you look at these pictures, the more you find, but this definitely looks like it could have a little tail or something. Maybe that's why this is missing its top half, but it definitely this area looks like it's been messed with. It's been uh, obfuscated, I guess that's the word you use. Um, now let's do our little guy right here. This thing was too cool. He looks like a little, he's at, he's dancing, he's, he's fighting somebody. Do, do, do. All right, guys, much love. What's up in the sky, 37? Uh, www.whatsupinthesky.com been working on my website, my personal website just kind of like trying to clean it up a little bit willforr.net and uh, if you got Facebook, you want to add me on Facebook I've been talking to a lot of people on there and uh, getting a lot of people are giving me a lot of tips on there there's a lot of good Facebook groups going on now it's uh, Will Farrar W-I-L-L-F-A-R-R-A-R facebook.com forward slash Will Farrar add me send me a little message if you want to just say uh, where you add me from or whatnot. but either way much love. Take it easy. Have a great night, great day, whatever you're doing, what time you're watching. It's 15 minutes in, a little bit long, but not too bad. Either way, I thought this was cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.